Saturday market and they have a no dogs allowed policy so we're just kind of hanging out on the outskirts of the market there are some dogs around but they, they're, for a real liberal area it's really crazy they don't really like dogs so we're having a demonstration here stop genocide I don't know what's going on I think it's about Ethiopia or somewhere. This is uh, Eugene, it's very political here. So there's an Irene Jamaican kitchen. All kinds of international food here. Connie, you like that blues music, huh? You like that blues? You like the blues? I know, you're more of a... You're more of a country dog, I know. You're a farm dog. That was, that was, yeah. So there's a, uh, a big Eugene marathon tomorrow. Right here in Eugene, Oregon. I don't think Connie wants to run because he's still recovering from uh, TPLO. He started, he was running in the backyard a couple hey, days ago stop, and stop his, he was limping on his good leg, which is really scary. He was uh, he's still kind of favoring that leg a little bit. Kind of not really walking it. He's putting weight on it. He wasn't putting any weight on it like two days ago. But he's okay now, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, for a real liberal town, this is crazy. No dogs allowed. It stinks. They got signs everywhere. This is Eugene, Oregon. It's supposed to be woke here, but as far as dogs, no go. We should get a hashtag free Eugene dogs. Dot com or something puppy, like that. Puppy, no puppy. Uh, yeah, there's, there's we just met some dogs. Higher ground is literally High Street and 12. <laughs> Doug no, doesn't baby, like Connie much. He's five months. Oh, that's why. He's a puppy. He's a baby, he's okay. a baby. Is that a husky? Yeah. He's a baby. Really? And what's the other dog? She's got a Frenchie Bulldog. Yeah, those dogs. So this is a cheetah. Yep. And it looks kind of like an old Harley, in a way. Yep, it does. And those 30? 28. 28, okay. So it's I kind of like this one. It's three grand. I would buy this in an instant. This one's totally nuts, because this one will do 60 miles an hour. He's right here. It's crazy. It'll do, it's got three modes. One's 20, one's 30, and one's 60. And hang on to your... Uh, Hang on to your pants. Hang on to your pants on at 60 miles an hour on this thing. It looks like an old scrambler a little yeah. bit. It's kind it of cool looking. Yeah, it's very cool. So we're... They actually, the guys who made this, the company, they made this because they have a 130 pound German Shepherd. That's why they made this for their, for their German Shepherd. Something's wrong here, wait a minute. Yeah. So this is a Ruffian. Ruffian bicycle. Looks kind of like the older Harley again. Looks really cool. I'd love to have one. Patty, say where we're at. We're at McMinimums. We're at my McMinimums. High Street Pub. My High Street and Cafe. McMinimums Pub in the, Eugene, Oregon. They let Oregon. the dog on the front porch. In Eugene. It's like an old home. It's it's beautiful. That's converted yeah. into a cafe no, and it's pub. It's been here forever. Yeah, it's been here for a long time, as long as I can remember. Well, I haven't been here for 22 years. I first came here around 1997. So it's been here before that. Hi, it's my and old McMinimums. I live in Seattle. The, so now we're in the back of McMinimums High Street Cafe and, and Brewery. And Pony's sniffing around. We came, they let us come back here because it's much warmer. They've got an electric, an electric heater up there. You can see it. Where is it? There's the dog. Pony's right here. Pony. Pony. Hey, look at Daddy. Come here. Hey, you're the dog. Come here. We're at another McMinimins. Come on. What are you looking at? And nobody wants to look at your back of your head. There's a kind of a Grateful Dead guy up there. Bonnie. Bonnie. Hey, I can't see your head. Hello. Come here. Back porch. We're on the back porch. So do you it's have, happy hour, it's three o'clock. You wouldn't have, you wouldn't Pony, Pony, you wouldn't look at this dog. He's got so much fur coming, he's got fur coming off of him. Come here, Pons. I just want to show the people. 
Come here. I'll grab some fur. Come here. Come here. Pony, come. Come. Come here. Treat. Come here. Come here. Let me grab some fur. Grab some fur. Look at that. It's shedding time in Oregon. Oh my God. Look at this. Yep. So I went to the bathroom. There's a Steve Miller band poster. There's a Grateful Dead poster. There's a ZZ Top poster. Down here. John Coltrane. That is... I don't know who that is. It's another Grateful Dead. I shook hands with this guy. That is Dick Dale. I actually shook hands with him at this uh, triple door in Seattle. And there is Quicksilver Messenger. And I don't know who else. And more Grateful Dead. All kinds of stuff here. Their whole thing is rock and roll, you know, they like rock and roll. Look at that pose. Funny. Funny. You're right by the wood pile. Honey. I don't know if you can see that, but Jerry Garcia is up there. So we left McMinimans and right across the street is the Healing Paws Wellness Center. Holistic veterinary care for cats and dogs. So in the parking lot, they got some really cool street art. What? It's kind of cool looking. I like it. I don't know what it means, but it's white, gray, and black.